can make that at 9.30. Then um, Jerry and I are in the athletic subcommittee, which meets once a month. That's at 12.30. And then Jerry and I are in the negotiations subcommittee with the teachers, and we have negotiations at 4. So if you have a real job and you're not self-employed like Jerry and I are, it's kind of, even if you are self-employed, it's, it, can, it can be tough to do it because there are commitments to make. Now, this is, that's not normal. But during the heavy budget time, there's a lot of time that has to be put in. You got to, you got to, sp yeah. You got to oh. spend a lot of time at home. And then the sub looking at. I mean, Maureen and I have both sat on school building committees. Unbelievable amount of work. I mean, yeah. just endless amount of work. Meeting oh, yeah. once, twice. A I mean, when they were building the bachelor school, I swear to God, for the two years they were building it, I was on that site. I'll bet you every day, every day but ten days for two years. I mean that sincerely. The negotiations of the contract. Um, we met uh, 13 months it took us last time. We met 26 times in 13 months. And that's just the meetings. Never mind the time that it takes to prepare the, the work to go into those meetings. Um, it's a huge commitment. And it's not just about showing up every two weeks for a meeting or for right. a town meeting. It really is. It's and you have to stay active and stay, stay informed, right? You have to, you know, communicate with school committee members in your area so that you're in tune to any regionalization. Um, any legislation, you have to stay connected to the people in your own community. Like, I mean, it's great that Andrew is a group, but before that existed, it was a bunch of individuals you right. had to keep in touch with. Truth be told, Anna, yeah, you can't justify it. You can't. What? With family commitment. Oh. The time we put it, we, you, you can't justify it well, taking into consideration your family commitments, your job, your business. It's very hard sometimes to rationalize how you can spend. Yeah, this I don't want to time. discourage people, but it, uh, you have to be ready to do work. Yeah, but I mean, don't scare them all. You know, September and October, it's you know, you meet twice a month. It does, and you do your, you do your. And the summer's you nice. Packet, you right, do depends your on your committee involvement. Though. Depends on what you. Right. I mean, if you're on, a, like I said, a, a but school there's some committee, committee or, commitments. Right. It's, um, the summer is it, once a month, so yeah. that's pretty good. If you take it seriously. Um, right. And you will delve into it, and it's not just the packet the superintendent gives us. And we're very fortunate because our superintendent keeps us abreast of everything, and he's accessible anytime we want. Right. Other than and his the work relationship is fine. great, so right. we're very fortunate in that regard. But I mean, you could just so. read your stuff and show up and just vote out of your own personal feelings, or you could take it seriously and really delve into it. And you have to be ready to commit. Um, it's a huge emotional commitment, too, because you've got kids in the school, right. and you see the teachers in different ways, right. you know? They're, that's the coach that coaches your kid, and you're signing their contract, or you're asking them to be accountable for the number of, you know, uh, classes they're teaching, and you're saying it publicly, and right. you're getting quoted. Right, and you have contract. to show right. up at a grocery <laughs> store and explain to somebody why their bus stop's been moved. So, you know, there's a lot to consider. You know, it's not, for the pay, it's not the worst job in the world. Um, but I do think, you know, you know uh, Nicole and, and Cliff are on the uh, policy subcommittee, and you might think, well, that's, you just sit down. You have to write policies. You have to meet. You have to review, review them. You have you to, have to write. You have to research the policies. You have to research the policies. You have to research the policies. Right, research the policies. <laughs> what policies are in other towns? Um, and you know you can always you have those subcommittees, and you, you can always be even more active on those subcommittees. And we're you know we're dealing with um, youth at risk, yeah, youth at risk which is a very problem. critical subcommittee. The athletic subcommittee. We're dealing with um, new fields, turf fields. We're working with Hillview. We're working with recreation department. Again, if you don't if you don't put some time in and you just show up at the meetings, then it's it's a worthless um, pursuit because you're not really you're not really adding value. So, you know, I, I wouldn't go as far as Jerry, but I would say that it, it's a it's a it's a big time drag and it's if you have fairly, you know, good sized family commitments and things, well, it, you do, it does you have difficult. Time, sometimes you do have trouble rationalizing what am I doing? Why am I spending that kind of time when you have other things that you probably should be dealing with? So are you running again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I can honestly tell you, I don't know. Um, I'm, don't I'm know. thinking about. It. <laughs> honestly, I, w I was involved. I was on both the soccer board and the lacrosse board in town. I had to quit both those boards because there wasn't the time to do that and, and be on the school committee. So it does take 
away some things I really like to do. I like being on the school committee, but I like being involved with those youth sports also, and, and I had to, you know, I had to cut back my, my time on those. But I would say there's one thing you don't need. You don't need to understand this inside and out right. before you get here. Exactly. There's right. plenty of time for on-the-job training. So if there are people that would say, oh, I don't understand school policy or, or I'm not good at budgets, I wouldn't let that hold you no, back. No, absolutely not. That we can definitely bring you up to speed on. Um, but if there's anyone that's really hesitant about just jumping into a school committee, I would highly recommend getting on the finance committee Spending time there, you really right. learn a lot about the budget, the process, the needs of the town. Um, How the town and school works together. Yeah, as far and it's as under the radar, so you can get your feet wet while you're thinking about it. They're you know, not on cable, and, right. and the press doesn't come to their meetings. It's and not an elective office, either. Right. that's the other thing. The a lot of people just office. don't want to go through the, uh, the election process or the campaign process, whereas yeah. the finance committee is an appointment. I, re I, I was on the finance, right, yeah, and they have associate members too. I was there for six years before I came here, and I really like that work. So I, I would, you know, yeah, I would recommend that. There, you don't have to have kids who are in the school exactly. system either. You can, when I first started on this committee, my kids were both too young. Actually, I only had one, one kid, kid right. when I started. And he was too young to be in the system, but that didn't disqualify me from the right. job and there are plenty of retirees in town who don't have as many well, too much time. We've got nothing to do. Right, we've got nothing to do, do but do all, day, all day working <laughs> on the school committee. But I have nothing to do, I'm a retired. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm finding this is filling you up were my day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. and, and it gives me a, an outlet of, uh, you know, to do something that I think is useful and, uh, and rewarding. And I, I'm, I'm very passionate, obviously, about, uh, from what you're saying, I'm pa passionate about education. And uh, I, I think that uh, this is a, a place that a person who is retired uh, can, uh, can, can benefit both themselves and the community. It's a commitment, though. Yeah, I think you it's have to commitment. take it seriously, and you have to really want to be involved and, and, and help. And you ha I think have it's also skin. important, yeah, have to extend, definitely, but it's also important that you have um, I think all of us are pretty passionate about it, you know, one way or the other on, on the issues. And I think you have to have that real interest in it or you're not going to be effective. You have to really want to make a difference one way or the other. One last thing. There's a lot of people that are very, very qualified out there to serve on this committee. But there's a lot of people who have been in business or have their own business that don't work well in a committee environment. And, and that's an imperative. I mean, you cannot yeah. come in here and think that you're going to... Um, direct the committee or that you're going to uh, just push your own agenda through. You've got to be able to work in a committee setting. And committee settings, I think, are, are not always efficient. They're not always the best way to get something done. But it's a committee, so you have to work together that way, you know. Um, and I think, that's, um, I think that's something this committee's done yeah. recently and in the recent past very well uh, to work together, even though we disagree on a lot of things. One last question. Um, has it always been a three-year commitment, and is there any thought to changing that to reduce it to get people to reconsider the time? Well, it's a charter. You yeah, have to change charter. the charter, and that's yeah. a fairly long process to bring that. So, um, but you, know. you can always quit, and then they'll appoint somebody. Right. We do have we have had members. But then they call you a quitter. <laughs> to leave the committee for you know reasons, health reasons, job commitments. I don't. I don't picture it as a, a uh, three-year commitment. I think of it as a, a longer-term commitment than three years. Uh, I think of it as, as as long as you can keep doing it, you you would keep applying yourself uh, to it. Because I think that you know, I'm having this been has been my first year, and it takes a while for you to really get into the process right. and understand what's going on. And how uh, how things have to be put together, what, what's what's behind the scenes, so what, what's involved in the teaching process, what's involved in the administrative part of the of the schools. Um, it, it's and and what's in the bigger picture. There's a, you know there's, there's books of, there's law books on this business. It isn't just uh, done right here. There's a lot of uh, rules to follow, um, and you have to have to find out about all of those. I've spent a, a huge amount of time uh, delving into the uh, the state financing mechanism through Chapter 70, and, and I'm trying to 
trying to sort through that and figure out how North Reading can get more of a share of those budgets uh, from, from the state. Um, haven't come up with a perfect solution yet, but I'm still working on it, and I'm putting a lot of effort into it. And Cliff also is, uh, he's quickly taken my role as the rabble rouser on the Massachusetts Association of School Committee's email list. Sir. Well, I'm still a rabble rouser, but Cliff is, I think he surpassed me in recent weeks because um, he has more time. <laughs> well, be a rabble rouser. And, yeah, and uh, as, you, as you get older, you get more vocal. You know, you <laughs> say true. what's on your mind rather than <laughs> what might be politically correct. Uh, but it, the, the thing that you find is that we are not the only school district right. that has these problems. It is very, very widespread. And, uh, and, and you, the list serve that you, the, the uh, group on the, on the email system uh, that you uh, email out to basically all of the school committee members in the state uh, with one button. Right. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and, you, and the response back is, uh, it, it makes you feel like you're not alone. Uh, and the response that you get from rabble rousing is encouraging. Yes, you know, rabble it rouse. is. Uh, yeah, not no, rabble rouse, but uh, be a, an advocate and, and, uh, and try, uh, try to push things along. And I would say you have Cliff, Mari, and I are, are probably three of the most active participants on that email listserv in, in, in not rabble rousing, but in trying to push things along and getting Mask to do more for the local districts. And I think that helps that we are active because they see, you know, North Reading as a town that is trying to, to make things happen. So I think that's I think that's a positive. I've had I've had a number of people who have uh, written back to me that have indicated that they wish that they that wish that they were on the North Reading school committee right. <laughs> because I, of uh, I the, the call people that Lou last week from a, a former school committee person she called me and said. Hey, tell that Maureen Baca to keep it up. I said, <laughs> I'll, stick, I'll, stick, I'll tell you about it later. But yeah, I don't know what you're doing on that. Well, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> well, that's very helpful. I think, you know, it's important to paint a picture of what it's really like. You know, what you're, what you have to do with your responsibility. Well, don't forget the camaraderie. I mean, Jerry said you have to learn to work with a committee, but then there's also the camaraderie of everybody kind of working toward the same goals, and and I think that. That helps a lot, also, mm -hmm. and so you don't, you know, you don't get that unless you're unless you're participating. But it is a, com it's a, it's a it's commitment. It's a commitment. There's no yeah. doubt about it. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, so on the budget, we'll uh, we'll have something to vote on on the ninth. Um, we've got a couple meetings coming up, and we'll look at that. All right, next. Do we have any bills and payrolls? I don't see the red magic red folder anywhere. We'll be here in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> the magic red folder. Okay, minutes. Uh, I did go over the minutes. I found only one in the. Let's see if I can find him here now. In the regular meeting on December 22nd, on the first page under Middle School Statement of Interest, the last sentence says Dr. Troughton spoke with the representative of the Massachusetts State Building Authority to explain the situation, and the MSBA will allow the submission in early January. Is that accurate, or at that time? It was at that time, accurate, it was okay. Uh, and actually, just. Aside from the minutes to update it, as of last week, everything that I put in on December 19th is there. They're going to allow that to be okay. added. Oh, awesome. Um, and uh, everything has to be in by Friday, and it will be. Okay. Wow. Right. That was a great effort on your part. Yes, that was stick for that. Thank you. So I, other than that, I have no other changes, uh, unless anybody has anything I, I have, mm -hmm. except a motion. Do I change something? No, no, no. 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 Accurate as of the time. Right. Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Ms. Vaca, seconded by Ms. Davis. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. And then I have nothing on the uh, executive committee no, I mean, no. meeting from that same night, the 22nd. Move to approve as written. Second. Motion by Ms. Davis, seconded by Ms. Vaca. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Budget update. Well, I have to wait for Carl to come back. So, um, David, any staffing issues? No. We do have a, um, a bid. Uh, excuse me, a donation. A bid. <laughs> and I know I have that here somewhere. No. Um, I know you want it? A generous it's donation it's from the uh, from the Lee family. And I believe Mrs. Lee is here tonight. 
Wow. To accept our thank thanks. You. Thank you very much. And I believe that, that the gift yeah. was matched by... Yeah.